know that it is here to stay It's like you're my personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna fight I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be naughty My name is Holly Hargraves, I'm a writer, director, editor, and this is Behind the Scenes of Getaway. So this film was inspired by another short film that I watched. It was a romantic drama, it was about a couple going on a road trip, and in it they went to the lake and they were swimming and splashing around, it was really cute, and in one moment the guy grabs the woman's head in a loving way, but my brain went, oh, is he about to drown her? He didn't, it wasn't that type of film, they got out of the water and they carried on their road trip, it was a really cute film, but I thought it would be a really interesting idea to make a short film where it was really cute and beautiful and then out of nowhere one of them drowns the other person. So that's where the concept came came from. I had a really specific look in mind for this. I wanted it to look really dreamy and magical and beautiful and in order to get that gorgeous light at the beach we shot at sunset. And thank you to LJ for buying me a copy. If you'd like to buy me a copy please go to the link in the description and you can buy me a copy for two, three or five dollars and I'll give you a shout out in my next short film. Even though this script is only two pages this film felt so big for me and I feel like the reason is because of the drowning scene. So I wanted to be really prepared before we went to the water. The DP Ren and I zoomed and did a shot list and talked about the drowning scene before the shoot day and worked out the shots we were doing. Then I did a zoom with Annie who was playing the victim and I talked through the shots and I asked her if she was comfortable with everything. And I said that we were going to do a two shot where they came in for a hug and then she's pushed down. And I asked Annie if she was okay with that. And then on the day I tried to limit the takes. So I think we did two takes, maybe three, but I ended up using the first take because I really liked that. The second shot was a close-up on Laura and I gave her a basketball so she could hold it down and pretend it was Annie's head. And then the third shot was the underwater shot. I was so excited when Ren said he could do an underwater shot. <laughs> So basically he put the camera in a plastic bag and he held the camera under water and Laura held the camera as if it was Annie's head. Okay, we're recording again now. Yep. So is this another one of that one or is this no, another one of another violent? An angry one. But then yeah. when maybe yeah. transition from violent to cold, you let me know. When I didn't want to have a shot where we could see Laura hold Annie down. I just thought it was too traumatizing for Annie and I didn't want to put her in any danger in any way, shape or form. When we shot, we could all stand up, but I asked the girls to cheat it to make it look like they couldn't stand up. And I think they did a really good job of that. 
So when we were shooting, we were actually like pretty close to shore. All of us were in the water and all of us could stand up. Merry Christmas guys, happy Hanukkah and I'll see you next year. Bye.